Welcome everybody, welcome to the show. Let's get our colors on here. We're gonna be doing a custom piece on this 24 by 12, well, a 12 by 24, Josh. Let's say it right. Let's take our phthalo blue. Normally we do this before the show, but a lot of times people ask, how do you do the under colors? So we'll show you how we do them in this case. Just putting a little bit of blue in different places on the canvas, right? A little bit out there, it all depends where you want to put it. Anywhere that you put the blue and then you go across it with your white, it's going to shine blue, that's what you want. All right, so we're not only going to do blue, we're also going to have some crimsony purple in there. Got to have some crimsony bits, going to mix in with all that blue spreading the paint across the canvas. You got to spread it, got to spread it. Spread them, right? Get it across the canvas as light as possible. So start in one side, smush it all the way to the other side, and make sure your entire canvas is covered in some form of paint, whether it be crimson, whether it be blue, whether it be anything, whatever it is, just have it be out there. And just like that, and go back and forth across the whole thing, and poof, all done. Got our undercolors across our whole canvas, right? Let's come in a little bit darker blue up here. A little bit more blue, who knows, right? Never know what it's gonna look like. So, we had a request for a cherry blossom, full moon type of scene on a 12 by 24 inch canvas, which is always a fun little scene. So, you can do it on any canvas size you want, but the 12 by 24 works really good for this size of a, for this uh, orientation of a scene anyway. So, tell me where you're watching from, guys. What's your favorite sandwich? It's Friday Night Pre-Style! in the building. <clears throat> Everybody has fun on a Friday night, right? All right, let's see. Where we got people watching from, guys, let's check it out. Perfection over here. Got everything looking good, looking good, looking good. So you can tell by all of our colors that we have our crimson and then we have our blue all across the canvas. It's gonna be fantastic. Now we're just gonna paint with white paint mostly and have all of these colors shine through. So, what we need to do is grab up some white on the end of our filbert, uh, on the end of our fan brush, just like this. Bingo, bango, across the whole thing. Remember guys, tell me where you're watching from. What's your favorite sandwich? Ho, do a little flip and see, and see what we can do with this thing, right? Let's grab our old Paint With Josh custom cake pan and put it right up there. Fantastically, just like that. This is for Tyler, right? I hope Tyler's mom's not watching because it's a present for Tyler's mom. So, I hope she's not watching. We're gonna go all the way around. You're gonna see all these different blues and crimson colors shine through. It's gonna be fantastic. Boom, just like that, right? Take our little moon away like that. Now, here comes the fun part, filling in that moon. All right, so when we come over here, I'm just gonna start to grab it, pull it down, pull it down, Pull it down right along the edge, making that rounded stroke. Helps your moon start to look more round, right? Imagine that. If you just did it straight across, it's not gonna look round. If you do it down, it's not gonna look round. You have to make it look like a ball. So come up to the edge, all the way out there. Just like that. Try not to go outside of our lines, right? Just like that, very cool. All the way to the edge, grabbing it, blending it, very small amount of paint, and it will all shine through and it's gonna be fantastic. So, you guys can tell me where you're watching from. What's your favorite sandwich? what do you guys have for dinner? I had pizza tonight. Got a little Domino's action, it was fantastic, delicious. Bailey's favorite place, for sure, for pizza anyway. It's gonna come around the edge real softly, real smooth, right up to the very edge of that guy. Bang, dropping a little bit of paint. Look at all the dark color on the back of the bristles of that brush too, versus the side that we barely used and the side that we've used too much of. All right, come down around. We're gonna have a lot of clouds at the bottom of our moon, so it doesn't really have to be the most perfect little shape down around the bottom. But just to show you that you can do it, you can make a perfect circle and have it look round just like that, right? All we gotta do is blend out our colors until they look however we want them to look. All right, and then we're gonna add a little bit uh, we're not even going to add any paint to the brush. We're literally going to come to the other side, grab up at the line, and then start doing our little downward strokes this way, making them look round, grabbing that paint all the way up there, pushing it all the way out to the edge, right? Just like that. Very simply done. 
all the way out to the edge, and then we drag it around and through, and it's going to leave this side a little bit darker, this side a little bit brighter. That's exactly what we want to have. And again, you don't even have to do the whole moon in this scene, but just to show you that you can do it, and you can do it quite quickly and easily, just like that. Boom, 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 boom. Do a perfect little circle moon. <laughs> Man, that's pretty. Just a lavendery bluish moon. Excellent. Just love it. All right, again, we don't want it to be all the same. And we want it to be nice and smooth because we're going to be throwing a big old cherry blossom tree right in it. So you don't have to have a lot of paint. It doesn't have to be the most perfect thing you've ever seen. And just like that, fantastic little moon we got out here. Just an awesome, awesome little moon. And a perfect little circle, if you do ask me. If I do say so myself. So, remember guys, tell me where you're watching from. What'd you have for dinner tonight? And uh, I'm gonna come back there and check all the comments on a Friday night freestyle. I wish we had like Michael Buffer in here. You know what I mean? Let's get ready to rumble that guy. Like Friday night freestyle. All right, let's see, very cool. Now. We're gonna add in a few little bits of clouds around the bottom because he said he wanted a couple clouds and then a, bits of uh, a few bits of mountain back in there. So what we're gonna do is take our same brush, gonna grab up some white right off the palette, just like this. Come over here like that. And just in six, I mean, less than, less than five minutes, we get a gorgeous little moon like that, right? Little teeny tiny bit of paint. That's all you need, don't need a whole lot of paint. Come in here, I'm gonna purposely go up into the moon in little counterclockwise jagged scribble clouds, right? It's gonna look very cool, just like this. I'm gonna pop up in, boom. This is why it doesn't really matter what the base of your cloud, or the, the bottom of your moon looks like. Just leave a few little bits, darkness, brightness, pop them out like that. Very cool. It's really all you need to do because once you take your one inch brush, we all know based off of our three P's of paint with Josh, right? P1, the amount of paint that we put on the brush. P2 is what, guys? What's P2? Because with P2, we can really take this guy and really stretch him all the way down the canvas. Or just very lightly, not even have it move at all. Just with the amount of what that we're using on our brush, guys. Does anybody know? Pressure. Let's see. Charlie knows. Trippin' 80 knows. Frenchie knows. Sheila knows. Let's see. Annette Babcock always knows. Sandy, lots of people over here. Alita Lot over on YouTube. Bridget over on YouTube. We're streaming to all three different platforms today. YouTube, Facebook, and TikTok, right? So, coming in like that. Bingo, bango. Fantastic. A little bit of mixing, a little bit of pulling. You start to see it turn pink over here, pink over there, blue in the center, kind of purpley where they mix together. All very cool. And it's all because we put those undercolors under the canvas, right? Without those undercolors, you would just have white paint on a black canvas and it won't blend away with anything. You have to have those undercolors there in order for it to blend away. And if it doesn't blend away, then you're really gonna be upset. It's gonna be super bright. Okay, now let's come in and decide with our palette knife. We're gonna grab up a little bit of our dark color here. So our black, our crimson, and our blue. They're always in the same spot right next to each other on the palette every single time because we use these three colors the most. All right, so just like that, mixing them up all nastily and crazily and yeah, it's gross. Ew, nasty, right? Just like that. Now we're gonna decide, what do we want our little mountain to look like? Do you wanna have mountains off in the distance that fall? Do you wanna have a bit that comes down on the side over here? All up to you, right? You get to decide what it is. So we're gonna take our paint, scrape up a bit like that, and who knows, we're gonna come up into our little section of mountain, just being all crazy. Right? You don't even have to use your, your palette knife if you don't want to. You don't have to use this, right? Watch, I'll show you. <clears throat> we'll take a fan brush. All depends on what you're most comfortable with, right? Fan brush, very simple, very easy little tool that you can do a lot of little things with. So if we get a good amount of black or kind of uh, dark, dark, dark purpley paint onto here and come up, you can do all sorts of jaggedy bit. Look at that. Oh, just crazy, just gorgeous little bit of thing happening out here, right? Take our little bit of mountain, it comes up over there, maybe out here, about right there. You got a nice little flat spot for a tree to sit. And then in other places, you get all these little sharp, jaggedy little bits of rock that come streaking off in different directions, different places, different things, right? Very cool, little bits, just little weird things. And then we'll go back and highlight them. It's gonna be very neat. Now, let's come in with our one inch brush. 
And with our amount of pressure, right, our P2, really gonna take this guy and just, all of a sudden you can blend him into the cloud, you can pull that thing down, you can do whatever you wanna do. All right, so we're gonna slide him down, pull him backwards away from our moon, like this, sliding it every which way, just making it soft, that's all we need. We don't need to have any details besides a bit of dark color back in here. So then we can take our waterfall and right down over the edge, right? So let's decide, maybe we gotta have a little extra color for the waterfall. So let's have a little bit of our crimson, a little bit of our blue, and let's decide it came down from here, just like, right? That way we wanna have that bit of under color in there so our white can blend in and kind of go down and work its way in, be awesome, right? And have it come out from like right there and fall its way right down the side. It'll be very cool, very cool. I hope Tyler's watching, I hope he likes this one. <clears throat> Tyler was watching our uh, TikTok stream last night and bought this painting. Went over to my Etsy store, right? Just found the custom painting listing over in my Etsy store, paid the, uh, the fee over there, and we're doing his painting today. It's awesome. Very simple, very easy, safe little transaction, right? I'm an Etsy star seller, nothing to worry about. More than 800 sales over on Etsy. So go to paintwithjosh.etsy.com if you want to get a painting like this or something similar, or anything that I have available in my store over there. A little bit of a white on both sides of the brush, right? Just like that. And then come over to the side and down. You can't just go straight down. You can't go all the way over to the edge, right? It's not, it's not shooting out like a water park where we have this jet of water coming out across the canvas. But you do have to show the water moving forward and then down. So find our spot where we had our little crimsony bit, go out and over. It falls right down. Look at that. You're gonna instantly turn that brush a different color with all the blue and crimson mix in there. So we're gonna flip it around to the white side and come back over here and pull it down again. Oh, look at that, that is so gorgeous. Just gorgeous, right? Pull it off to the side because that's where our water's gonna come out of and then we can kind of fill in a little section, cut it off with some rock, it'd be very cool. So we don't wanna have too much paint, just little bits, right? As we go off, maybe a couple little bits are kind of falling out a little further. Just like that, oh, very neat. Very neat, a little bit more white paint, just so it brightens up. Boom, boom, boom. Gorgeous little things, right? Do it too many times, it's gonna ruin all the little details. So, don't do it too much. And we'll come over here. It's so easy to do. If you've gotta have that right amount of paint on your brush, you gotta have the right amount of pressure against the canvas as you're pulling it down, right? And what's the third P, guys? Does anybody know the third P of paint with Josh? It's almost the most important P. Because if you don't have that third P, how can you plan on doing anything? You can't expect to be good at anything without having the third P. Does anybody know what that is? Practice Brenda knows, that's it. That's it, Brenda Cheyenne, uh, H. Quinn. Let's see. You make it look easy and I wanna make you start painting. Good, that's the point. That's why I'm up here doing all this stuff for you, right? Now let's take back here. Why don't we make up a little bit of our white and our blue paint. Kind of have some little shadowy section back in here. Maybe a little bit darker blue. So we're just gonna add more blue and then we're gonna come in sneak a bit of that purpley black mix that we have in there. It's just gonna dull it down the smallest little bit. Now the buyer said they wanted uh, colors of blue and purple and stuff in this painting. So that's what we're gonna use. Why don't we come back over here just off the back side. Gonna have a little bit of like just a shadowy mix, very small amount of paint, few little details back off there, right? Underneath our little bits of highlight, maybe underneath that guy, maybe underneath here, right? Leaving room for our, our whiter color, our brighter color to show. And we start pulling it down at a different direction. All depends on what yours looks like, what you wanna see, right? How far your little bits go down. We're gonna have a whole big cloud down here, so don't worry about what it looks like going down, you just gotta have a little bit of darkness back there and then you can come take our darker paint, kind of sneak it in back in between these little bits, headed back towards the waterfall, but we don't have to touch it. Just want it to be nice and dark. There we go, get those little bits, roll down over that blue paint. Very cool, starting to build our little bit of thing back there, right? Now, before we get too far away, and before we run out of our dark mix of paint, since we already did run out, let's make up some more with our black and crimson and blue. Just mixing it up, and then we're gonna come up into here, into our moon, and pop in the cherry blossom tree. So, if you wanna see how to do one of those, get ready, 
is we're going to take all this dark paint and put it right up in there. It's going to be awesome. So, taking our brush, just like this, let's come up and we're going to make a little trunk of the brush first. I'm going to take a teeny tiny fan brush so we can keep it nice and thin. All right, just loading up a small little bit. And then from here, let's say we came up, we're pushing real hard in the front, and then we're going to get thinner and thinner and thinner as we go off to the side, right? Doesn't have to even show half of these branches by the time we get done. They're just going to be there for a little bit of, just for our eye, basically, to set up where our, where our little trees would be. So keep them very dark, right? I know they want to mix in with that paint back there. Just a little dark. It's like a little hand it's waving at you guys. Hello. <laughs> Hello. What's happening out here? It's like, hey, what's going on on Friday Night Freestyle today? What's happening, guys? Let's do it. All right, now we're going to take our dark color. We're going to come in here like this, mashing it up, getting it all into the big, thick section of that pile of paint that we created so it's all nasty and gross. And then we're going to come up here, and we're going to start to decide what the shape of our tree is going to look like. All right? Come up like that, filling it in, dabbing it on, getting it all nastily in there. It's exactly what I want it to look like. Perfect. And you just have those little bits of tree branch that we're really not worried about, about what they look like or anything, right? And all of our little darker textury bits. And that way we're gonna be able to see this tree from the side of the canvas. It's so thick and textured. It's awesome. Awesome. Okay. Now, let's see. I'm gonna take just a couple little guys, little teeny guys, like they're just falling off kind of floating away from that tree in that little thing. Boom, perfect. Now we're gonna to have to highlight them, of course, but just like that, we'll be rid of all, all the dark off of that paint, and then we'll pick a color, and we'll go back and highlight this tree. And it's little petal flowers falling off. It'll be very cool. Very cool. Now, why don't we come in, we'll grab up our liquid white, right? just like this, a little bit of liquid white onto the brush. Let's go into that blue, so we mix up the white and the blue together and it makes this really bright, highlighty blue color, right? And it's gonna come off of the brush very easily because it's got all that liquid white in it, right? So, dabbing it in, I come over here, very light little pressure. You can see how it instantly starts to light up. Oh, it's so pretty. So pretty, right? Go back in, scrape up into that paint again. Little things, so you have little bits that are light. You don't wanna cover every single piece, right? Gotta have some of that brightness. There we go and some of the darkness, you have to have them. Otherwise, it just doesn't, there's no depth to your painting left, right? All the depth is gone because you covered up all the dark or it's all too bright or this or that. Now we're gonna come back in here, lighting up just a couple of these little guys. Okay, you don't have to have the whole thing, just a few little taps against the screen, uh, against the screen, against the screen, and they all start falling out that way. Very cool. Very cool. Get that off the brush and we'll get going on the rest of our waterfall, all the rest of that stuff. It's gonna be very neat. Remember, I told you guys we're gonna have a bunch of clouds come through here. So let's take our two inch brush and in that same direction that we were pulling with our knife, going very softly, very softly. Otherwise you'll really pull that paint all the way down, which is not what you wanna do. All right, well, we need to throw a little highlight on top of our little shelf. Got a little shelf up here just like that, a little bit, right out there on the edge. He's just hanging, hanging on for dear life. Like, oh, I don't know, guys. Uh, what are we doing? What are we doing? I'm gonna fall off the edge of this mountain over here, right? Now, let's take a little of our white paint, or white and gray, or whatever color this is over here, this mix. We're, all, we're only really using four colors for this whole painting. So, just like that, we're gonna come in here, maybe down around the bottom, we had maybe the water hit, and all this mist started to come up around the side, right? So, just like making clouds, you wanna leave little areas here, there, everywhere, right? And then the paint will kind of grow together on its own. Maybe up into here, a little bit brighter. Woo, all depends, right? Now we're gonna take our brush and you guys are gonna to start to tell me when it starts to look like mist. We're gonna start up here and you're just mixing it up just like we did with the clouds, just very lightly. Then we move, then we pick up a little bit and we move again, then we move. Every time it starts to look too much dissimilar, you move down and you pop down and you come back up and you come over here. Is it starting to look like mist from a waterfall yet? Coming out of this, all this right here. Woo! Just that based on how we pull the brush, all that stuff is going to start flying off. It's going to be very cool. Very cool. You know what this stuff right here? 
The best part about oils, I didn't like those little, those little rolling bits, so just like that, poof, blend them away, take a little bit of brightness, pop it back in that little faraway cloud back there, and then with less pressure, less pressure on the brush, stay bright further off back there. Just like that, leaving it disconnected from this other cloud, but you don't have to touch every single thing, right? Now, let's come up, take our fan brush again, still got all that dark colored paint on it, we still have a little bit over here we can make a mountain out of. Now we gotta come down and cut through the water, right? So you can't see where it comes out. I like coming out over the front of it a little bit as well, just to kind of pop out right there. And we can see just the smallest little bit of where it's coming out, where it's feeding from. And then it comes down, you get all this darkness, right? All this dark purpley paint. And who knows, we still got a little pile. Maybe we can do some cool things. We'll come out here, throw another little projection out there, right? Just helps push the waterfall back. Maybe this guy, it's like a little flat little shelf or something. Who knows? It's coming down here. Very cool. Right? Down into the darkness, into the mist. We can turn it all into a cloud if we wanted to. You can do all sorts of little stuff in there. Right? Maybe this guy, start throwing those sharp little bits off down around the bottom. We can make what our rocks, whatever we want it to look like. Very cool. Very cool. Now, let's take some a bit of that blue again. A bit of our blue and white. And mix it up down here. Just like this. Gorgeous little color, bit of our darker black in there as well. Not the black, but the purple mix. You know what I'm talking about. And come around here and just very lightly, don't want to add too much paint, right? We don't want to have it look too similar. And we're keeping a very, very, very small disconnect of darkness in between both of those bits, right? And if we're in between both of those pieces, then we're going to retain that separation of the rocks, right? Look, all down here, you don't even have to fill it all in. Leave that shadowy area back there, right? Your brain will figure out. It'll, it'll fill in the spots for us. It'll go, hey, uh, isn't there supposed to be something right there? They go, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There's, there's obviously something there. We can't see it, but we know that there's something back there. Right? Even though our brains can't see it, we'll fill it in. Look at those rocks all jagged and crazy. Just from taking a little bit of blue and leaving little differences, right? Not trying to cover up all those dark slots. Those dark spaces that are, we're, we're just trying to go over the tip top of. We're not trying to cover all those guys. If we cover them all, we got no depth. So why, why would we try to cover? Oh, look at that, just jagged. It's like I've stepped. It's like when Gollum has to climb. Gollum and Smeagol and Frodo, they're back in here somewhere. I know it, I know it. Or otherwise, we just missed them. We just missed them. They were here. They were here. I could smell them. Just like that. Very cool. Just a mess of a, a, a whole bunch of different color, right? But you don't want to just put a highlight with no darkness underneath. You have to have that dark color under there. <laughs> Retains all of our depth very, very lightly so we don't spread the paint too far. Very lightly. So soft. So soft. Oh, so soft. And you got to go in the same directions that you pulled your knife in, right? So if you went around one way or came down the other way, you have to constantly be turning your brush in each way to hit every angle that you did all the way down. Now, what to do down here, what to do? We can make a little pool of water. You can see where the, where the waterfall fell into, or we make more jagged little rocks, crazy little things, right? All those details, I wonder, I wonder what to do, guys. What to do, what to do? That's the question when we're making, when we literally make it up as we go. And what's funny is the client said, he's like, I totally trust whatever you come up with. I know it's going to be awesome and it's a present for my mom. So just go nuts. And I was like, okay, here we are. So what do we do guys? You guys got to help me. You got to help me for Tyler, right? Tyler bought this for his mom. I don't know what else to do. You guys got to help me. Where are we going to go? We're going to add more jaggedy rocks down here around the bottom. We turn them going this way. So they're all spiky and crazy. Do we put a bit of water back in there? Do we put, shoot, we could, we could put something up here and then have it kind of feed down. You know what I mean? Down underneath. All depends on what we do with these little brushes, guys. We can do anything. We can do it. We can do it. We can totally do it. Some rocks around the bottom and water. That's cool. A little pond with a rock. I like that. Pool with rocks around it. Do a pool of water. It seems like everybody wants to see a pool of water down there. Okay, let's do a pool of water. Now, I know we have our blue and our crimson down here, so they might be different, which is exactly what we want. We want them to be a little different color. Now, let's imagine back behind our rocks, our little pool of water was back in here. Oh, you know what? Guys, we got all this space right here. We could do a double waterfall. You could have two waterfalls coming down into this little thing, like a little, 
extra, oh man, that's it. That's it. Otherwise, this painting would have been over very quickly. <laughs> the Friday Night Freestyle show would be over too soon. It's coming up with a little bit more darkness on our brush. Let's come connect back up into this guy. Right, just all jaggedy and crazy and out here and then we rotate the brush. See how the handle was over here and then it was over here? It's all about twisting the brush, rotating it. We're not just a robot up here with one thing. And no movement, right? And even if you have low mobility and you can't move your wrist around, you can still do it with your fingers and keeping your wrist straight. So don't give me that crap. You can do anything you want without even moving your wrist. You can do it. So let's do it, guys. Let's get do it and do it. Why don't we, oh yeah, what if we did this? Watch, we're gonna come down here with a bit of darkness, right? Gonna leave like a little opening, right? In there like that. Oh, guys, be able to see all the clouds through that opening back there, right? And then we'll drop a bit of water right down through there. Just like that, very cool. Okay, so we'll come in here with our water, just like this, coming in. Little white on the brush. Again, we gotta go over to the side and down. And I don't really wanna use the whole brush, just gonna kind of tilt it to use the corner, touching the corner to the canvas, having the right corner kind of poke away out into the room. That way we go over and down, keeping it much smaller, you know what I mean? Not so much water falling, and then we can decide how big you want to have it. You want to have it a little bit bigger? Have it a little bit bigger. Yes! Yes! So pretty, you guys. Love that. That's cool. All right, now, we've got all that other mist back in here, right? So let's allow this dark color blend in with those little bits of mountainy, uh, little bits of foggy mist. We got a couple little scraggly bits that are hanging down off the top of our little hole over here. Maybe some that are poking out the top over here, right? Kind of looks like a mix between Mordor and, I don't know, Kung Fu Panda. Something crazy. Just crazy, though. I love those things so much. I love those little swipes. So again, coming from the side. So we show it leading and then down into our pool of water, which again, we decided was about down here. So we're not going to add too much paint. Oh, look at that pink right here in the front. Oh, guys. Okay, so we're going to take that, our light color right there, and just mushing it backwards and forwards, trying not to hit our little guys over here too much. We can always go back and cover over and fill in our little pieces back in here. We don't want to hit them too much, and we don't want to mix it so much that all the color changes either, right? Just like that, you can have a whole little bit of water, of pond, whatever you want to call it down in here. A little bit of mistiness back in there, all right? Soft little things, and then come in and add our front bit of mistiness, right? So maybe we had that cloud in the back, and with a little less pressure, and a little more paint on the brush, a little less pressure right there, watch that. You take that and keep it a lot brighter than the rest, making this little bit of cloud in the front versus all those other little bits that are off in the back, right? All depends on the amount of pressure. Look, we can take this bit, very lightly work some of that light color up the side of the waterfall, right? Depends what you want yours to look like. You wanna have it be a bit brighter back in here where we pulled some of that bit of our rocky color down. And so we go over where the rocks and the clouds meet Right, back up in there and just making little mini, little mini circles, right? Just misting it up. You never know what you're gonna see. You never know what kind of details are gonna pop out. Maybe we got this guy over here, right? Because now that we've got that mist behind, all these dark colors are gonna shine, which doesn't really make any sense. Dark can't shine, but you know what I mean. They're gonna shine through all these little bits. And then we're gonna come back in and make more little pieces of our highlights, some more blue little bits, right? Back and forth, back and forth. So I love these little limited palette scenes. You don't need a whole rainbow in order to make a wicked cool painting, right? You really don't. You can just use a couple colors, leaving little spaces in between those couple colors, just like that. Man, this one's like way out here on Krypton or something, except like the blue version of Krypton. What's the blue version of Krypton? Blueton. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but it's awesome. Little bits, little teeny, like half of the spike in the light color and leaving the other half in the darkness, letting it blend down. You don't have to see every single detail. Detail, right? I love people that say detail. I always thought when I was younger, I was like, people that say detail instead of detail are like way older than me. So now that I'm getting to that age, I'm going to start saying detail. <laughs> I don't know why. There we go. 
little bit of detail right there. You don't need a whole lot of detail. <laughs> it's gonna be like, what is he saying? Who's got a tail? Are we talking about a dog's tail? What? Josh has a tail? That's gonna be in TMZ. World famous painter, Paint with Josh, recently admits he has a tail on a live show. No, 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 I was talking about details, details. Not tail, details, you clowns. Now everyone's laughing and thinking I have a tail. That's okay. That's all right. All press is good press, right? Very cool. Leaving all these little bits, right? Now we're, gonna, we're running out of our blue, so let's come scrape up a little bit more blue, a little bit more white, mix them up again. What are we missing out of this pile, though? Just a bit of that black, crimson, and blue mix that we've been using. There we go. That way it's not so super bright and it's not so super dark. Gorgeous. And it's going to shine so brightly against all of this dark color. Look at that. Little bits down here. Start pulling it down towards the base. It's falling down. Remember, guys, you guys can't get this one, but I have all sorts of stuff in my Etsy store, and we can do custom paintings just like this over there if you go by the custom listing. So it's over there uh, at paintwithjosh.etsy.com, and then you can search for the custom listing. It's actually pinned right to the top of my Etsy store, and I think it's like 325 It's like 325 and once you buy that listing, we'll start to, I'll, I'll reach out to you. We'll start to go over all sorts of ideas about what you want to have. What do you want to get, you know, what kind of colors, what kind of scene, all sorts of stuff. Totally custom, all for you. And then we're going to get it done for you. So, those, uh, that custom listing also comes with a YouTube video. That's why we're doing it on YouTube today. And Facebook and everywhere else. But, there we go. Look at this, guys. So you get that custom painting and a video that you get to go back and rewatch over and over and over and over and over again for years and years and years while you're looking at the thing on your wall. It's a really cool experience. I'm telling you. All right, let's take our one-inch brush. We're going to soften these guys. We're going to slide them back. Going to make it dark back here. Don't want too much brightness, right? Very light. Oh, very light pressure, just like that. Bring those guys back over this way. Now, what do we do? We'll make it... There we go. I'm going to make the bottom dark right there. It's just kind of throwing my brain off. Now we can see a little bit of that pink water back in with all the mist and all the clouds and all the stuff that's going on in this painting. And check this out. I'm just going to come in here very lightly. Very, very lightly. Oh, my. So soft in that same angle. See how I'm rotating, turning the brush every which way, just barely touching it, making it that much less noticeable, right? That less texture just the teeniest tiniest bit it's gonna help it dry a little bit faster too which is always good people go how do you get it to dry so fast well first we live in las vegas where it's very like dry and hot out here anyway right so the climate really does it for us i don't have to do much and come in like that a couple little bits of our bluey colored paint leaving those little bits of dark as well you don't have to cover all the dark we put it out there for a reason right a little teeny strike uh stripe of blue out there just like that letting it get very dark as it comes back in here we don't need to highlight everything all the way to the back right just like that guys very cool taking a little bit of our straight up blue throwing that right over just so it helps it darken just a little just a touch a little straight bang very neat love this one you guys very cool one of my faves, for sure. Definitely one of my faves, for sure. Take our brush very, very lightly. Again, gotta have a lot of practice to come up here and be confident enough to slap against your rocks like that, right? You're gonna need a lot of practice. So that's the last P for a reason. It should be the first P, if you ask me. It should be practice, paint, and then pressure. But no, paint, pressure, practice. This rolls all right, right off the tongue so much easier, right? Okay, we're gonna get our little liner brush I don't think this little liner brush is even little enough. It's like, <clears throat> I just ordered, uh, yesterday I ordered some new liner brushes to try out. So we'll see if we can get a new brand in here and see what, uh, see what that brand is like. There we go. Teeniest, tiniest little amount is all I need. And then if the brand is good, I can recommend the brand to you guys for little teeny tiny liner brushes which we all need all the time, making little branches and different stuff. Right, little little tiny details, and you come with little teeny tiny brushes. 
So I like to try out different brushes so I can tell you guys which ones I've tried, which ones are good, which ones aren't, which ones you should kind of stay away from if I were you or me or whatever. Very cool. Very cool. Perfect. All right, let's see. It's very dark down here, so all my white keeps blending in with all of the purple. There we go. Gorgeous. All right, get rid of that. <laughs> I guess this brush didn't want to last very long. Uh, the top just, I just literally tried to like, just pull it with a piece of paper towel to clean the end off, and the top popped off. So let's get rid of that guy. We don't need him anymore anyway. It's all right, let's pick up a different liner brush. And this one looks a lot better. It looks a lot better right there. All right, so I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna get a little of my white and our odorless mineral spirits so it stays very thin, thinner than the, than the liquid white could even get it, right? Very thin bit. Bring it down here, change it up to that little bit of blue color, just so it'll come off of our brush very easily. And we're gonna put the old family way off in the distance out here, and then we're gonna spring in some stars. So don't go anywhere if you wanna see some stars flying through the sky out here, right? Now let's take the fam and let's put us out here way far away. So. A couple little birds flying through the scene way out there, right? And that indicates it's a Paint With Josh painting, an original canvas, awesome. All right, now let's grab a little bit of our liquid white on the end of a small little fan brush, right? These little small guys have better flickability as Kay Jones, one of my TikTok, and I think she follows me over on Facebook. She came up with the term flickability because it flicks stars out a lot easier if it's smaller, right? So we'll get it out here, a little bit of our liquid white, and we're just gonna start to fling it out, little things, out into the sky, you paint a billion stars in a second. Boom, a whole galaxy full of stars in one little second. Awesome. <laughs> right now, every once in a while, if your paint is too thin or you don't have the right consistency, you're gonna fling it out and you're gonna have a long streak paint like that, right? Like a little, little streaky bit. So what you can do is take a filbert brush and turn that little streaker into a little shooting star by pulling them just to the side, right? So we're gonna take it like that and grab it and pull them off to the side. This far off little shooting star fixes both of your problems, right? Gives you one more little piece of detail out there to look at. It's just awesome, just awesome, just awesome. So remember guys, this one's already sold, but you can find more at paintwithjosh.etsy.com. And it's time to start coming up with a name for this painting, right? We gotta help Tyler name it. I'm not sure if he's watching or not. I don't think he saw my messages on Etsy uh, before going live. I don't think he saw them. So I doubt that he's watching, but if not, we're gonna choose an awesome name. Remember, it's a gift for his mom, right? So, and she likes cherry blossoms and waterfalls and full moons and stars and all that stuff. So. Start coming up with a name that would be fitting for a gift from a son to a mother, right? For a birthday present, I think it is. So come up with a title, type it into the comments. What would you want to name it? What if your son had got this for you? What would you want it named? All right, tell me in the comments. I'm going to come back there and start reading out titles, and then we're going to pick the best one. So all the mods over on TikTok, make sure you guys are pinning the best comments so I can see them. The best titles, they, they come, the comments come in so fast over on TikTok, I don't even have time. If I'm not standing behind the camera looking at it, I, I literally miss a thousand. Here we go. I'm gonna wipe all this bit off. We don't need all the rest of this paint. We might come back later and paint on TikTok later on tonight. See if I can get a couple more sales rocking before we have to leave town again. Uh, my grandpa passed away and we've got to go up to the funeral um, on Sunday. So. What's it, Friday now? So we're gonna do our Saturday show. I don't even know if we're gonna have time to do the Saturday show tomorrow, actually. Come to think of it, we might not do Saturday sessions tomorrow because I might be on an airplane. To, are we going on Sunday? I think we're going on Sunday. Who knows? If I'm here, I will paint. If I'm not here, then go watch my YouTube channel. I got tons of content over there that you can learn from. Now. Let's come up with a name. We're going to spin it around. It's signed. It's birded. It's fantastic. It's beautiful. It's just ah, it's awesome. Awesome schmawesome. Awesome possum. Right? Just like that. 
Boom. That was the last piece it needed right there. Okay. We're going to put this over here. Then we're going to wash the rest of these brushes. You guys are going to tell me the name of the painting. What are we going to name this gorgeous blue and purple painting? Indigo night waterfall with a full moon and a mist or something. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. You guys got to come up with it. Remember, the guy's name's Tyler. He's giving it to his mom as a birthday present, I think. I know it's a present. I don't know whether it's a birthday present or whatever, but... Giving it to mom for a present. So what would you guys name it based off that info? What should we call this painting? I got two brushes left to clean and then I'm coming to read comments. So start typing them in now if you want me to see them. What do you want to name this painting as we come back in five, four, maybe a little bit longer, five, four, three, two. Nope, still longer. I got to wash my, I got to dab it off. I got to dab it off. There we go. All right, make sure it's nice and dry. Let's see what we got for titles. Guys, let's see what we got. Midnight Blossom. No, Anna actually canceled her order. I'm not doing Anna's painting tonight. She uh, had a family emergency come up and uh, had to cancel. So that's why we did Tyler's order tonight. Let's see. Cherry Blossom Moon. Uh, Mom's Dream or Mom's Fantasy. I like that. Falls of Motherhood. I like that one too from T. Simmons over here on Facebook. Falls of Motherhood. Hey, somebody sent me a super sticker on YouTube. You guys are awesome. Thank you. Appreciate that. Uh, thank you, Fly Me to the Moon, for saying you, uh, uh, sorry for my loss. I appreciate that as well. Blue Mist, Mystic Blue Falls, Ice Ledge Falls, Blue Memory, Mystic Blue Moon Falls, Sharp Spiky Ridge, I like that one. Crystal Falls, I dig that. Full Moon on the Rocks, Mom's Rough Love, I dig that one too. Under a Blue Moon, Midnight Fall, Moons of Neptune. Ooh, Winter Falls, Majestic Mist. A Mother's Starry Night. I dig that one from Samantha Cox over here on Facebook. Let's see, anybody over on YouTube got, a, got an idea for a, a name for this painting right here? Sakura Dreamscape. Dig that. Blue Feeling, Blue Moon Falls, Shards of Love, Jagged Blossom Falls. I dig that. Yeah, right? He's giving it to his mom. So it should be something to do with mom. Like mom's something. Mother's something or other, this, that, a mother's road. I dig that, a mother's road. I like a mother's starry night from Samantha Cox over here on Facebook. Gollum Nights, I like that one too. Mom's Sapphire Tears, dig that. Moonlit Night, Mother's Milk, Mother's Duality. Ooh, Duality. I like that, Enix. Like 33 followers you got to follow from Paint With Josh. Now you got 34 followers. And the world famous Paint With Josh is one of your followers. I can't believe it. Wow. Blossom Falls and Lynn Sampson says, I love your energy. I love you, Lynn. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with us. And if I knew how to spell duality, I would say it. Mother oh, mother and son. Oh, what a name, guys. From, uh, from Kay Jones. Mother and son, right? I didn't even think about that. Mother and son. Waterfalls. Something to do with that, right? Anybody? Is that cool? Mother's depth of love. Mother's dreams. Mother's tough love. Never ending story. <laughs> it's a never ending story. Ah, Bailey, come sing with me. <laughs> Mother and son. I think I love, I love that, right? All right, Kay Jones is getting to get the name this one. And I thank you for the person on Facebook that showed me how to spell duality. <laughs> I dig that as well. Because there's lots of times when Josh doesn't know how to spell something. And I got to come back and look. So, I think that's a really cool title for a gift from a mom, from a son to a mom, right? And it's got a big waterfall and a baby waterfall. And we can call it mother and son. It's so cute. So cute. All right, remember guys, if you want your own personal customized custom painting, go to paintwithjosh.etsy.com and uh, there's a custom listing over there. Go purchase that and then start messaging me and we can decide what you want to come up with, right? So this one was painted on the 9th, 6, 9 of 23. Remember guys, over on Facebook and YouTube, I do so many live videos over on TikTok. You've got to go over and get TikTok. Stop giving me that crap about the Chinese and the 
watching us and the blah, blah, blah. Just get the TikTok and come over because I can't keep uploading all the streams everywhere, right? We do all the stuff over on TikTok. That's, I mean, it was the biggest audience. Facebook is the biggest audience now, but go find it there. I mean, everybody is watching everything that we do anyway. Our own government is spying on us all the time anyway. So it doesn't really matter whether you, you know, you're ever talking and you're like, oh, no, I was thinking about that store. And then you look down at Facebook and all of a sudden an, an ad for that store is on your feed. It's because they're listening to you, right? So just like that, doesn't really matter. Just give in already, get TikTok. We have a lot of fun over on TikTok. And what number is this, guys? Is this eight? Is it 810? No, it's eight. Is it 812? I don't know what number it is. I think it's 812. Anybody? What was that? Okay, hang on. I got the one from last night that we did. I gotta go check. Now I gotta go check and see what number it is. Aha. See, I'm always right. I'm always right. It's 812. Number 812, guys. So you guys can't have this one because it's already been purchased. It's a gift from a son to a mother. We should have called it son to mother. Mother to son. Now you're messing with a son of a right? <laughs> Such a good song by Nazareth. So can't wait to get this one dry out in the mail. Going to be fantastic. I hope Tyler likes it. And I hope he at least sees some of these TikToks that we'll make out of all this stuff. It's been a quick little 46 minute show. And man, I am on fire. Maybe I'll come back later on on TikTok and we'll do some more painting tonight. Uh, who knows? Who knows? We'll see. We'll see. I do need to uh, pay for those plane tickets to go to grandpa's funeral. They're very expensive. So um, yeah, maybe we'll come back on TikTok, see if we can get some more paintings to sell tonight. And uh, I want to thank you guys for being here, for tuning in and hanging out with me. And until we see you guys again next time, take care. Have the rest of a good day. And ba -ba! Get up out of here. It's over. All right. Excellent. My TikTokers. What's happening, folks? You guys know it's never over for the TikTokers. You guys get to have like the post show. Hi. Man, it's hot up here. Goodness, look at this fresh dew. If this will stay down. How's it going, everybody? How's it going? So, good job, Kay, for naming this painting. I love the title. It's an awesome title. You guys want to see something cool? My manager said I should get a clock. Oh, isn't that neat? And it does like a little countdown or counts up. It's got a little alarm. <laughs> All sorts of stuff. So I can look over and go, okay, we've been going for like 90 minutes now. I've got to wrap it up, Josh. Got to wrap it up. Man, this one turned out good, though. My hair looks good. You guys are awesome. Brista Satter, was it Satter Whale? Satter Wait? Satter Wyatt? I, I'm, I'm so illiterate. <laughs> oh, thanks, Hypnotic Beauty. Where are you from again, girl? Let's, let's, get, let's get together. I don't know what we're doing over here. I'm still wearing these. Let me get, this is how I get paint on my face, and I don't realize it. Yo, yo, k -year. So yeah, it's got the temperature reading, the date, time. Freaking cool. And it's got different color lights. So cool. Nice, from Utah. I'm going up to Utah Sunday. Be flying into SLC, baby. I always hate when I have product in my hair because then I can't like really scratch at it and be like all, oh, you know what I mean? How I don't know. How are they? Are they good? Or is it me? You're at, am I your favorite? Oh my God. I'm good. I'm excellent. Um, yeah, we just knocked out this little commish uh, custom painting for Tyler. He's going to give it to his mom. It's going to be fantastic. And uh, you're in Texas. Thanks for tuning in. Let's see lots of goofy screenshots of today's painting. Oh no. Why would you do that? <laughs> don't do it. I'm going to, you know what? I'm returning. I'm going to call up USPS and be like, hey, you know that one that you're sending to Kathy's custom art? Just flip that around, put it back on the truck, head back to Las Vegas. Hey, from West Virginia. Let's see. The only one you bought from. That's, that's love right there, right? That's like proof is in the pudding. Pudding. <laughs> so let's see. I'm so good at what I, I mean, what do I do? What I, I just come up here and let loose of, you know, you know how you're like, you're all reserved all day long. And you're like, oh, yes, sir. Nice to meet you. Hi, good to see you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Blah, blah, blah. And then you get home, you're like, yes, I can be free, baby. Right? That's me when it comes up here to painting. So uh, I might. I got to try to get some sales. So you guys got to help me decide what to 
paint, right? So let's see. My creativity is uh, refreshing. Thank you. My freaking clock is refreshing. Look at this clock. The clock comes with a TV remote. It's legit for the clock. I don't even know how to do it. All right, what's it in Celsius? It's 24 Celsius in this room right now. Or 75 Fahrenheit. Why'd you miss the live, Hypnotic? Why weren't you here? How long have I been painting? For four years now. So I am going to paint later on again tonight if Hypnotic Beauty buys the painting. You have to commit to buying it blind. You don't know what it is. I'm just messing with you. But uh, that's all I know. It's a clock, right? It's got the lights. Hang on. Ooh, it's a dimmer. Because it's got like a little LED bottom thing. It's very neat. Um, what the hell happened? Does anybody know what happened? I have no idea what happened. My phone just like force closed everything. Everything was gone. And then when I opened it back up, it's like, do you want to come back on and resume your live stream? I was like, yes, I do. <laughs> Actually, uh, yeah, I don't know what the hell happened. I was looking at my TV and my remote and then the stream went black and I was like, open my phone back up again. So yeah, I need your guys' help on knowing what to paint. And I was going to show you this cool little bit of my clock.